Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched the series finale of OUAT. It's called Snow Drifts was part one and part two was There's No Place Like Home. Um, and this particular episode, it's like Back to the Future. They even make a reference to Back to the Future with Marty McFly. And of course, Emma has to correct all this because uh, the, the portal itself was, was opened. Uh, when Zelina was killed by Rumpelstiltskin in the previous episode, um, uh, that pendant that she had, she was no longer tethered, so that power, that residual power that she possessed was released, and the, the portal was opened, and they found themselves back in the past. <laughs> so it was back to the future, future past. So I thought, hmm, are they doing a promotion for X-Men here? Because we all know that uh, X-Men is an affiliate of uh, Disney, and uh, I, this episode was probably my uh, my absolute favorite because you get to see Rumpelstiltskin at his glory when he was evil, I mean completely evil, um, and I really enjoy him in all his uh, rancor and just his mirthfulness and mercurial attitude, and he's just an amazing villain. I just I think that he's absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. Um, we got to see Red Riding Hood, and then we, we learn who the woman is whom she released from the prison. At, at first, I was thinking uh, she was Esmeralda, but then again, I, I thought, no, this is not the right period of time that Esmeralda would be in, but you know, I was kind of hoping that they would do a um, crossover with Hunchback of Notre Dame, but... You know they haven't done that yet. They're they're going to be doing something even better with the ending. If you had seen the uh, the f the final episode of No Place Like Home, we could see the new character that they brought. And I thought, ah, I mean, I I had such a, a burst of fan joy. It was unhindered and unhinged <laughs> elation, and I just I couldn't help myself. I thought, ah. There are a lot of fans out there who are probably just cheering and screaming and uh, probably singing at the top of their lungs. I can tell you what song they were singing to, but I'm not going to say what song it is because it'll be a huge plot point. And um, spoiler alert: uh, this finale was the best that I've seen in OUAT for a long time, and um, I'm glad Zelina is gone, but. This new villainous, I ooh, yeah, it's gonna be really intriguing what they're gonna do. And maybe, maybe they will do Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I wish they would, but I, I don't think that they'll even go into that. I would love to see a, an Esmeralda and um, Quasimodo and um, Frollo. I mean, I would absolutely adore to see a Frollo. I, I just, I just think it would be uh, incredible. And then to have a, a Clopin, is I, I don't know. I, I really like Clopin. I had a crush on him when I saw the movie the first time. I thought, ooh, it would definitely be a gypsy for him. Uh, <laughs> but he, uh, I, you know, he has all those things that I, I like in a guy: mysterious uh, eyes, <laughs> sense of humor, <laughs> mischievous. And an accent. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, my my guy doesn't have to have an accent. Um, I don't know what else to say, honestly, about this particular episode. Although I just absolutely enjoyed it, and it was extremely entertaining. And I didn't even realize that two hours had passed by. It was that good. So um, if you haven't seen the the finale yet, see the finale. It is so worth it, and it's just uh absolutely sensational it truly is and I really hope the best for the next season to come and I'm hoping that they don't screw it up <laughs> I don't think they will but I just pray that they don't 